welcome back. We just got done with a super exciting week of VBS at our local church and we were able to use a lot of items from the Dollar Tree to make our VBS activities a whole lot more budget friendly. If you would like to see how we incorporated items from the Dollar Tree to use in our VBS, then just stay tuned. Can you see where we are? We are here today going to go in and show you guys how we are fixing to get ready for our VBS next week at church and how we are going to plan all of our activities and games for the kiddos with things that we can get at the Dollar Tree. So if you have a VBS coming up or a summer camp and you are trying to find some inexpensive ideas to keep those kids busy, just stay tuned. In this video, you will see that we purchased enough items for 10 games that did occupy 80 children during the week, and we were able to purchase it all for under $55. That amount also included the supplies for our registration table and name tags. The gifts you will see at the very end of the video were not included in that $55. That was an additional fee, but they were mostly from the Dollar Tree. As always, your shopping experience is always easier when you have a list made out ahead of time. This will maximize your time and give you a little less frustration in the store. During the week, we did split those 80 children up into three different teams, giving each team a team color. In order to separate them and to show some team spirit, we did pick up these tablecloths from the Dollar Tree. We were able to incorporate those tablecloths on our registration table as well as on the spirit sticks that we put in the different sections of the sanctuary to show the kids where they would sit. In order to go a little further with our team spirit and create our name tags as well as some directional banners on the floor, we did pick up some poster board in red, blue, and green. And we also picked up some yellow poster board to add some accents onto our name tags. Using our poster board, we did cut out some star shapes. We placed them on the floor of the sanctuary with clear packaging tape just to give a little direction to the children on how they could find their team. We also used those poster boards to cut out more stars for our name tags. Here you can see those yellow accents from the yellow poster board. We made these holes by using a hole punch and then gluing the dots on each individual star. Are. Those white labels also came from the Dollar Tree. They were in a package of 240 for just one dollar. On that registration table, you should have noticed a little bin that did contain our coins that the kids could earn during the week. They were saving those up to purchase things from our little store when the week was all finished. We did also purchase these brown paper sacks for the kids to keep track of their coins during the week. A package of 40 of those is just $1 at the Dollar Tree. And no VBS is successful if the children are not quiet during Bible time. So we found this package of four little handheld signs that we were able to use during that segment of our VBS each night just to keep the children a little more quiet. Because the children involved in VBS were minors, we will not be able to show you pictures of these games in use during each service, but we will show you how we made them. Game number one was some fun with the Bible memory verse. We purchased some balloons in the different team colors and we stuck a memory verse inside the balloons. We had the children pop the balloons to find the varying verses and then they had a race to see who could put the verse together the quickest. Game number two was an egg relay race. We purchased some plastic spoons from the Dollar Tree and had some leftover plastic Easter eggs that we were able to use. The kids had to run with the egg in the spoon without dropping it. 
Game number three was a game of getting the ball into the bucket, placing a ping pong balls between your knees. It is a race to see who can drop the most balls into the bucket. We were able to find the ping pong balls as well as these plastic containers at the Dollar Tree and were able to find them as close to the team colors as possible. Game number four was a game of glow stick ring toss. We turned the lights out in the sanctuary and had a little bit of glow in the dark fun. We found these glow sticks that were able to make about a 12 inch ring. We found them in our team colors of green, blue, and red. And then using the containers from our ping pong ball game, we just flipped them upside down and let the kids use the base to toss their rings on. For game number five, we decided to have some fun with David and the Giant. We were able to find some of these slingshots at the Dollar Tree that were just perfect for this game. And they came with a ball that was soft enough for the kids to toss at some of our teenagers. We decided to pick some of these up as well as some headbands that we found at the Dollar Tree. Those were also pretty close to the team colors. We took both of these units and added some Velcro that we happened to find at the Dollar General store instead of the Dollar Tree. This Velcro is a self-adhesive, but I did go ahead and lightly stitch that Velcro to the headband as well as to the ball just to give it a little added security. The kids then took the ball, placed it in the slingshot, and aimed for the giant's head. Game number six was another fun game in the dark. We were able to pick up some of these lighted glow sticks and we just played music and passed them around like hot potato. Game number seven was our Ten Commandment matchup. We were able to buy these three-sided poster boards at the Dollar Tree. These were just right for gluing our Ten Commandments to. We did set these poster boards up with the numbers 1 through 10 on the outer edges and then we placed some Velcro on the center sections. Taking some cardstock and printing out the Ten Commandments, the teams then had to have a race to see who could place the Ten Commandments in the correct order first. That Velcro is the same stick on Velcro that we purchased at the Dollar General and the verse simply stuck to the board. For game number eight, we decided to have some fun with Zacchaeus. We bought some poster board that we could draw a tree on and we're going to let the kids play pin Zacchaeus to the tree. This meant we had to have some markers to draw our tree. We simply found our little Zacchaeus off of Google. We printed him out and then cut him out. Placing a little bit of tape on the top of Zacchaeus' head, we then blindfolded the children and had a race to see which team could get the most Zacchaeuses on the actual branches of the tree. Game number nine was a super fun pool noodle race. Picking up some of these pool noodles at the Dollar Tree, we needed eight of those in all. Taking six of the rings, we taped them into a round circle, and then it was time to begin placing those six rings together, taping them to make like, kind of like the old tire running exercise that football players do. We simply placed the duct tape securely around and we did go around each set of rings about three times to make them extra secure. Once our six rings was all together, we then took two pool noodles and just left them straight, taping them to the sides of our ring. This is what built our frame, making it extra sturdy. Then it was going to be time for the kids just to run through, placing their foot in each hole as fast as they could to see which team could do it the fastest. 
Game number 10 was a net catch game that we found at Dollar Tree. Take two people from each team and then rotate teammates. They must throw the ball back and forth using only the net. As with any good shopping trip, it is always good to make sure that you have checked everything off of your checklist and have everything in your buggy that you need before you leave the store. This will ensure that you don't have to make a second trip, especially with a super busy week ahead. The Dollar Tree also provided the bulk of our prizes that the children were able to purchase at the end of the week with all the coins they had earned throughout Vacation Bible School. We simply split the items up and divided them into sections based on the price of coins they would have to use, and this turned out to be a super fun way to end our VBS. I hope this has given you some fun ideas for your VBS or just some summertime activities for the kids in your neighborhood. The Dollar Tree is a great place to get some activities done for a budget-friendly price. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you decide to use any of these, please comment below and let us know how they turned out for you. We'll see you next time.